Hello everybody, this is Emma Popo here once again to bring you another new video. I know this video is late, extremely late. Today is the 16th of October, but I am here to talk about September and talk about my goals for the new month, if there are any goals. But let's face the fact, all I do here is just to talk, just to rant, just to let go of any burden in me. So, addressing two things, the glasses on my eyes, this is not my usual eyeglass. I was sick for the past week and like I just lost focus of everything on my, in my life and I misplaced my glasses. I don't know where they are. I don't. I have searched everywhere for them. I can't find them. So I bought this new pair. I actually saw exactly the same type of glasses with the purple frames and the pattern by the side but the lens was scratched and the shape was just wrong. So I got this one instead. And also, it's super hot now, so please permit the sweatiness. Welcome to the African sun. Like, the weather is really ch has really been changing lately, and um, it's kind of sad that the rainy season is almost over. But that's one thing about life. Life is all about season. Things come and things go. And that seems like a perfect segue to talk about September and my life so far. So around this time last year, I was thinking like, okay, around this time last year, I was thinking about my scholarship and, and I was looking forward to how that my life would change and how something would work out in my life and how I would start putting things together and start actually moving forward. Now, by this time, last two years, there was no scholarship, no job, no nothing. So I was just wondering what I would do with my life. And I was actually thinking and saying that, Okay, if I had a job that paid at least 50,000 naira, I would save this, I would do this, I would buy this, I would write this, I would monetize my blog and just use that to do something with my life. Like, it felt as if everything that was wrong with my life was because I didn't get that one chance. And like, I spent all that time looking forward to getting that chance. But like one thing I've learned now is that life is so different in the theory to the reality. Like, wow, last month, September, apart from my birthday, I'll talk about that later, my birthday, but September was, it was difficult. It was a very hard month for me. I was stressed. I was sleep deprived. I was tired. I was restless. Like every morning to pray was the, to pray in the morning was, like the only time that I can sit still and meditate and then I'm off. I'm in school, like walking upstairs, downstairs. I'm managing three classes at the same time. I am dealing with troublesome students. I'm setting assignments. I'm teaching news. I'm teaching CRS. I'm teaching home economics. I'm teaching English language. I'm jumping to this class. I'm staying behind to write my lesson notes. I'm Googling to write my, um, what do they call that? A scheme of work. And then I'm back home by four. I'm cooking dinner i can't even watch anime before sleep like i just pass out and i wasn't having it out i wasn't happy living that life like when we were doing summer before school started fully like it was busy and it was busy because i was trying to make it busy but right now there are like so many things that i can't even keep up with and it made september really difficult for me going to my birthday um i didn't bake a cake like in the past five years, I've always baked a cake. Like if everything goes wrong in the year, at least I can bake a cake. I can sit down with just some money and just bake something small and like take a picture and eat cake. It's my birthday, eat cake. I didn't even eat a cake on my birthday and I was so sad. I was so blue and I was depressed. But I wrote about all of that in my blog post for September. I can check it out. But later on, I came to just seek balance and to seek the joy. Because as I was saying before, I reflected back to when nothing was working for me. And I was like, okay, if I am living this life that I am living now, I would at least be content. At least I would be happy that I'm making efforts. My hard work is bringing forth something. Every month, even if it's 1000 I'm saving 1,000 naira I'm saving in a um, month. At least I'm bringing my, um, what do they call it, my efforts and my resources together towards a goal. But 
now that I'm living that life, it's not easy. And it's good. It's a good thing that I, I'm realizing that it's not easy. Like, the 9 to 5 and the 50,000 and her job should not be a goal. It shouldn't be a goal. It should not be, it should never be a goal for anybody. And I feel bad for people who feel as, feel as if, like, working a job and uh, making money and marrying and giving birth to children and owning properties and driving cars. Like, it's not a goal. You know what the goal is? H-E-A-V-E-N. I'm in a very good mood today. Because I'm not sick anymore. Like, I was so sick that I couldn't even write in my journal. I couldn't write. I tried. For almost two weeks, I wouldn't be able to write in my journal. Like, I was so tired and weak and everything. But I can write in my journal. I can record videos. I can sing. So, oh God, I'm so happy. I think that's what I'm going to say today. I'm just happy that I am here. I am happy that I can dance and I can sing and I can jump. And I can watch anime and I can do things and I can pray in the morning. And even though I'm rambling, I think that's one thing to grow on. It's one thing to grow on in life. I actually didn't, I didn't plan this video, if it's not apparent enough. But I just want to put this video there to fulfill all righteousness. And to fulfill all righteousness. No motivational thing to say today, but... All I'll say is that when you look back and you see and you foresee the future, like what you actually see is a totally different. Like right now, I can sit here in this patch on the past and look into the future and be like, okay, by the time I move to another level of my life when I'm married and I have kids, I'll do this, I'll do that. Things will go like this. But God has shown me so many ways that right? there is no point planning anything. The only thing you can do is to put your whole plans in his hand. Like last year, my plan was Lord lead me. This year, my, my, my plan is my goal and my prayer to God at age 27 is that God swallow me whole. Because I don't see the point, like, planning out every small detail just for it to fall flat on its face. Planning out getting a so-so amount of work and doing it and saving it over how many years and doing this and doing that, right? Like, there is no point in it except you are doing it joyfully and doing it to the blue level. And that's what I want to do. I'm going to try my best. And I'm going to just enjoy life and see what God does with this. Like, I am a spectator in it, too. I am not working hard to... It sounds as if I'm being lazy, but I'm not working hard and striving to push it somewhere. I'm just sitting, touch hands on my chin, waiting for where God is sitting. I think that's the long and short of everything. Thank you for watching.